Mooring on River Cam. An essential part of Cambridge identity. Cyclists, dog walkers, passing swans, pub drinkers, rowers and punters all make the river environment a bustling one. It's clearly part of a lot of people's images of the city. Please like, share and subscribe for more videos and write your comments or questions. A leisure scene popular for residents and tourists, but the river cam is also a place many calls home. Scientists, writers, workers, teachers, farmers, retirees, young families. It is part of their life. From Jesus Green to Sturbridge Common are about 65 moored residential river boats, dotted all along the river bank. Anyone wanting to get a taste of life on the river better not be in a rush, the city council's license waiting list is closed. Those lucky enough to be on it still face a wait of up to 10 or 20 years to gain their permit. Licenses cost up to just over £1,000, while a well-equipped boat can reach prices of £120,000, still far below the cost of a city centre home. A lot of artists and writers are living on the river drawn by the inspirational setting plus affordability. They are not a separate part of the city they all have jobs and lives. It appeals to creative and quite innovative people. There are people there for spiritual purposes, who are tuned to the natural world. It's an alternative way of living but it's rooted in an urban community. There's something wonderful about being in the heart of the city. Being a very much part of the city. They work here and kids go to school. The uniqueness of Cambridge's residential moorings is their proximity to the city's open parks and commons and absence of permanent fixtures, charging points and other utilities. Being so close to the elements and with limited space means the cam boaters must sustain a constant routine of stocking up fire fuel, maintaining engines, filling water tanks and emptying toilets. A 40-year-old writer and curator, Cindy, who has lived on the river for more than 15 years, currently resides on her boat Sandra with her husband and 10-year-old son. They started living on an unused boat belonging to her family and quickly fell in love with the boater lifestyle. A very gentle, slow pace of life. Just living a bit differently but is very beautiful. It is a bit of an adventure, just a fun thing to do. Being able to cycle to work made them healthier, their lives more economically and even sleep better. Especially during summer on a boat is wonderful, people at barbecues and there's always someone to feed the cat. They really enjoy waking up in the morning during spring and summer, open the door and have a coffee by the river and you can talk with the swans. For Cindy's son it's a bit like swallows and amazons. He really adores it. He loves his home and loves the other boaters' children in the community. His journey to school is just a short walk with his mum down the riverbank. Walking along the stretch of river they all feel very, very lucky. They fell in love with the romantic side of the lifestyle. The community and the people. The sociability of the cam boater community is one of the best things about life on the cam. Open, interesting, and creative people. A lot of independent, eccentric, and quirky people. Newborn baby mum Mary, a mechanical engineer at Cambridge University, is a relative newcomer to the Cambota community. Originally from Positano in Italy, she lives with her boyfriend and six-month-old daughter Sophia. Having lived in different countries before, Mary found that she quickly adapted to boat life and doesn't struggle with a very young baby. They have lots of friends around and help each other as much as they can. On a Saturday shopping they stop every five minutes with someone different talking. If it's good weather everybody is fixing something on the boat. A quite compact community. Those living on the river must reduce the amount of clothes and shoes to proportions they couldn't imagine. To be comfortable and warm, they don't need many gadgets. It makes them very flexible and it's a challenge. It's something to explore. It's inspiring and brave to live differently in a world that is prescriptive about how to live. They are very in touch with the seasons and the weather.
They can't just turn the thermostats up, but have to put the effort in. During winter they must deal with things routinely. Floods and snow and river freezing up. It can be quite challenging. They must be quite organized, having a good central heating system really helps. They become quite aware of how much energy and water they are using and waste they are creating. Another challenge is handling preconceptions about people who choose to make their home along the river. They must navigate what is like to live very differently. But the best thing is to just educate people. The lifestyle itself is just different and comes with its practical challenges, but it's a fantastic community and an amazing asset to the city, when thinking that there's a shortage of properly affordable homes in the city. The neighbors from the area like to have the boats because they can walk at night, and they know there's somebody with a stove on. They have a very good relationship with the people who live in the houses. If you have found this video useful, please like, share and subscribe for more videos and write your comments or questions.